Welcome back everybody. Today we're going to do a quick video on how to make um, macros and whatnot in MRPG. So first you're going to open up the app itself and then you're going to go to the campaign you're looking to make the macro for. You'll hit where you see these two swords up in the top left next to that back arrow. Hit those where the t campaign name is. In this case the campaign name is Empath. <clears throat> and then you'll see this this section. If you have a character sheet, you'll see character sheet template up there. If you don't, it'll look slightly different. Um, I don't believe I have a campaign that doesn't have a character sheet activated on it, so I won't be able to give you an example of that. But in order to make macros, you'll come over here and you'll hit macros underneath looking for players. And then if you already loaded a campaign uh, character sheet in, you'll see all the pre-made macros that are already there. If you're making a public macro for your whole group to use, everybody in that campaign, you would come up here and name it. We're gonna name it test. And then in macro value, that's where you're going to put what you're trying to macro. So we'll say D20 plus D12 plus D10 plus D8 plus D6 plus D4. So you can we can get all the different dice in there, <clears throat> except for the D100. And then if you are a DM and you're adding it and you want to test it first, you can hit test macro. That'll, yeah, see it rolled everything. Wow, two ones. Oh, I didn't even put a D4. I just put four. Okay, so it, I got a couple of ones, but you'll be able to do it as OC, as a narrator. And in the case of using a player skill, such as like perception, you would come up here and you could do it as slash slash colon perception and then that'll use the the perception block of the character sheet um that will only work if you have a character sheet that has a perception block do keep that in mind otherwise you will have to make it this normal way um the way before the perception and as you can see if i test the macro <clears throat> it comes up as a zero for the perception and then you just hit save and then you can scroll down. And as you can see, I can see the test macro. It says slash slash D20 plus D12 plus D10 plus D8 plus D6 plus D4. <clears throat> and that's that macro right there. Um, if you for every reason, for any reason need to delete it, you can come down to this bottom section right here underneath the macro test area. And you'll see the but the delete word. You hit that and then hit delete again. And that deletes the that deletes the macro. Um, you do the same thing if you're trying to do it privately except the private macro can only be used by the person who makes it. So that's useful if you have, say, um, specific rules to your, can to your DM's campaign that require you to do certain things that aren't normal to D&D, &D, or if you're using a different system and you just have a, just any sort of different type of role. Say you're a great weapon fighter and you always use great weapon, f your great weapon fighting, you'll want to do, you'll want to make a private macro with that neg five. So you don't have to constantly remember to add it to the normal macro. And that's pretty much all there is to making macros. Um, good luck to you guys in your campaigns, and I hope to hear from you more. Have a wonderful day.